So today I am in one of our unheated high tunnels and we have part of this high tunnel planted in a little bit of a trial that we have had going over the winter to see what we could get away with pushing the boundaries of our zone um, as far as some plants that we could overwinter without having them in a heated space. So three things that we planted in here. One is this beautiful patch of dara, which is a docus, so an ornamental carrot. Um, along the next row is a trial of straw flowers that were planted um, in the late winter. And then behind me, way at the back, is some status that we'll go down and check out too. Uh, I just, I kind of wanted to give an overview of what things looked like and how we made this experiment work. So the way that this all rolled out is that we had plugs delivered to the farm middle of September. So this hoop was still rolling and we were able to pull some stuff out. I think that there were dahlias in here. We ripped them out and flipped the beds. And then in late September, we planted in plugs of these so that we were able to get them established on you know, a normal water system. And then we shut off the water pretty much completely over the winter just to try to stave off any bacteria or um, fungus that we would might have. And also because we just don't need as much water in the winter. So we did water a little bit with um, hand watering through the winter months and then we did have a couple of days where we got down into like the low 20s uh, which is pretty cold for us we're a zone 8b so those cold nights we were able to utilize a few um, propane heaters which look like this so this is just a propane tank with these little mister heaters that kind of strap right onto it and we turn them on at really low temp overnight just to cut the cold so that we didn't end up getting everything frosted. We got a little bit of frost damage on some of the plants, but as you can see, they made it through and they are thriving right now. So the straw flowers were a late add to this kind of trial. We didn't really intend to, and then we had a, got an extra tray. So I was actually super shocked that they've done as well as they can. You can, or as well as they have. You can see we did get a little bit of frost damage on them a couple of nights ago. Uh, and so we'll come through and we'll just kind of clip that out. This is one of those instances uh, where you can get some fungal issues. So that's botrytis, all those little white dots. So we want to get rid of that so that we don't end up having it spread around. Yeah, there's a little bit more down in there. Uh, but we'll just take that out and remove it from the hoop house. The Dara also did get a little bit frosted. Uh, and then again, when those leaves are damaged, they're just more likely to start showing signs of bacterial issues. So we want to go through and scout them out. And we'll do that through this hoop as well as everything else that's planted in the hoops over winter. So the other crop that we have in here is status. So this is just an annual status. Uh, I think there are three different colors that we planted. Again, mid to late September, they got put into the hoop. And I will be totally honest, I'm surprised that they've done as well as they have. They did get a little bit of frost damage and we've cleaned them up and kept them looking good throughout the winter, but they are all butted up and we're hoping to get some really nice stems off of them to use this time of year. They'll help us to kind of bump our bouquet program forward a little bit so that we can have more local flowers in our bouquet program, which is exciting. Uh, so in total, this experiment slash trial was a fun thing for us to do over the winter. It gave us a lot of um, a lot of information about what we can actually do in our zone in an unheated hoop house. And it just kind of fueled my excitement to try more of these kind of things over the next winter. So look forward to trying some more things and sharing them with you when we do. Thanks for swinging by. See you next time.